Hello and welcome to this Kalefi video where today we're going to discuss the 535 series press reducing valve. Let's firstly take a look at why we use press reducing valves. Press reducing valves are installed in water systems to reduce and stabilise inlet pressures from both mains water supplies or boosted water systems which generally are too high and variable for stable system operation. The 535 series is specially designed for hot and cold services in domestic, semi-commercial or fully commercial buildings to equalise either the hot or cold supplies or both and prevent excessive pressure at water outlets such as taps, basins, toilets and other pressure sensitive equipment appliances. The operating principle of the valve is based on the comparison between two opposing forces. The spring pushes the arbiter downwards in the pressure reducing valve opening direction. Forced by the downstream pressures, the diaphragm tends to return the arbiter upwards in the pressure reducing valve closing direction. Opening an outlet on the circuit downstream from the pressure reducing valve causes a reduction in pressure below the diaphragm. The force of the spring is now able to overcome the force exerted by the water underneath the diaphragm. The spring forces the arbiter downwards to allow water to flow through the valve. The degree in which the arbiter opens is greater the higher the number of outlets which are open. For example, the greater pressure decrease under the diaphragm. There are two types of pressure control. These are static and dynamic, but what is the difference? Static pressure is the head or pressure of water in a system when the water is at rest. Static pressure control is therefore the maintenance of a set pressure within a system when there is no demand or flow. This is particularly useful for single point use outlets, especially where protection is required due to low pressure rating, for example, washing machines and showers. Dynamic pressure, in comparison, is the static pressure of the body of water, but it also includes the momentum of the fluid in motion. Therefore, dynamic pressure control is the maintenance of a set pressure within the system when the water is moving. The key difference is that a dynamic PRV will only control the pressure when the water is moving. If there is no demand, the pressure can creep up without regulation. The setting of the PRV is a simple process. Once you know the desired set pressure, you simply turn the adjustment knob, either clockwise or anti-clockwise, and using the visual indicator on the head, the set pressure is visible. The valve's optimum performance will be a reduction ratio of 3 to 1, with a velocity of between 1 and 2 meters per second. Anything above this can create cavitation through the valve. Movement of the Cleffy press reducing valve arbiter is unaffected by upstream pressure. This characteristic, which is essential for pressure reducing valve, is achieved through the compensated seat. The arbiter seat is designed in such a way that the same thrust surface upwards and downwards. There are a number of potential causes for failure result in downstream pressure increase, and these are dirt on the seat, a high increase in upstream pressure damaging the diaphragm or disengagement of the control function. The valves are fully serviceable to ensure the fault-free life of the 535 series. Let's now take a close look at what is involved within this process. Isolate the pressure reducing valve using upstream and downstream isolation valves. The special construction of this valve does not require any adjustments of the calibrated pressure which can be left at the set value. Remove the upper cover using the special spanner. The upper cover is integral with the internal regulation cartridge. Check and clean the filter by holding under clean running water. The whole self-contained cartridge can be refitted or replaced with a spare. When the cartridge is screwed back into the body, the pressure indicator window will return to the original position. We open the shutoff valves and the pressure will automatically return to the set value. There are two valves in the 535 range. These are the 535 and the 535H, which contains a high performance diaphragm with a higher operating temperature range. Thank you for watching our video today on the 535 series pressure reducing valves. I hope you enjoyed it. For more information on any of our products, please visit our website at www.kalefi.com or visit our YouTube page for more videos. Thank you for watching.